So the one want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakahakotash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom, La Bukariyam, Shah Yasha Allah. I'm gonna make this quick, man. The Lord is, man, the Lord is great, man. You know, He's showing us everything. This man has been um, gradually, you know, step by step, leading us down this road to the MOTB. You know, since the 60s and the 70s, man. You know, but um, we at the end. Everything is coming out. This video comes from uh, GMS. Get this work. You know, and um, as you're going to see here, I think this was in 1974, you know, introducing this uh, cashless society, you know, um, predictive programming that they use this through their commercials, their movies, their, their billboards, you know, but uh, we at the end. So everything is coming out. This man has been working. Those little plastic credit cards that let you automatically withdraw and deposit money in the bank, those cards may seem to be the ultimate in computer banking. But a more sophisticated system is being tested in a town in eastern France. Thanks to computers, in many stores in Bourg-en-Bresse, people don't have to pay in cash, but they can't pay on credit either. In fact, the minute they make a purchase, their money is on its way out of the bank. Joe Schlesinger reports. The uncredit card, it zips money out of your bank account with the speed of lightning. The store sales register reads your bank account number and feeds it straight into your bank's computer halfway across town. You give the computer the order to pay by punching up your own personal identification code. The storekeeper rings up the amount of your purchase. The computer makes sure you have enough money in the bank and presto. The money is transferred instantaneously from your account to the store's account. This newest wrinkle in shopping is in effect in now, of course, uh, Today we call that, that would be your, your, the debit system, the option to use your debit card or your, cre or your credit card. Out of 40,000 inhabitants in eastern France. If it works here, the uncredit card may soon be coming your way. The system, the first in the world, was installed here three months ago, and it's too early to tell how it's doing. So far, the service is only available in 54 outlets, service stations, supermarkets, clothing stores, but more computer terminals are being installed. Just like when you go to uh, these Amazon stores, you got the, uh, the swipe to pay, swipe with your palm, the palm pay. You know, you go to Whole Foods, you got the Palm Pay. They they also got the Palm Pay and um what's the name of this store here? The the store where you get the um the bread, the soup from. Pan, pan, panera is on top of Panera Bread. Panera Bread. You know, they got the Palm Pay there also. So they say they 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 slipping it in. For the bank, it's a further step towards automation. For the store, it's instant money in the bank. The new card can also be used for cash withdrawals from electronic tellers and eventually will replace checks for all sorts of money transfers. The bank charges neither the store nor the customer for the service. But to use the card, customers will have to keep larger bank balances and that's where the bank counts on making its money. That's the hitch. You can only go shopping with your uncredit card if you have money in the bank. But the computer is not totally cruel. It won't make you put back the letters for want of a dollar or two. It will turn a blind eye to anything less than a $50 overdraft. But after that, it's no go. The computer will be polite enough about it. It won't tell the checkout clerk straight out that you're flat broke. It'll just pretend it's having a minor nervous breakdown, that it's temporarily deaf and dumb. So what's in it for the customer? Well, it's that old blandishment of our age, convenience. You don't have to carry cash. You don't have to fill out a check. You don't even have to sign for anything. That's the key right there. Just no cash. No cash. That's the signal. No cash, no sign, no checks. No Venmo, no PayPal. No stash, 
no cash app. This new system will be digital and it's going into your hand. So we, we can see this man has been, been, you know, slipping this in for many years. And now we at that day. This is gradualism. Gradualism. The meaning of gradualism is the policy of approaching a desired end. What's the end? That MOTB, the mark of the beast. By gradual stages. You know, and you just looked at one of the stages right there. So we at the end. <laughs> well, we about to get this. <laughs> you know, we here. We here. Shalom.